Hi, beautiful people. How are you? Kathy Friend here with the um, Strength and Joy Through Your Style. We are now um, answering your questions on the fourth step in the process, which is about um, word of audits. I know I promised you this video um, on Friday, and then I forgot, and then yesterday, um, I videotaped it and went back and looked at it to make sure it was okay. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm not gonna send that to anybody. It was horrible. Do you ever take a picture or video of yourself and you're like, mm, nobody will ever see that. It was kind of like that. I thought it was okay because I, my hair was straight and I had it pulled back, but the angle of the camera was literally straight up my nose. And I learned that my nostrils are two different sizes. Too much information? Probably, but we're all friends here, right? We're all friends. Okay, let me get to your question. So Nancy has a question, and she actually had a really good comment. Um, it says, I just feel overwhelmed to even start ta taking clothes out of my closet and putting them on my bed to sort. I sort of answered her question on the, on the group page, but I want to address this here. Um, there's some other organizers out there that suggest you take everything out of your closet or everything out of your drawers and put it on the bed and sort it that way. I don't agree with that because it, even just thinking about it makes me overwhelmed. I suggest um, a different method and in the book you'll see step by step how I suggest that, but it's really pretty simple. Um, first the first step and you can do this over a period of days you don't even have to do it all the same day if it's so overwhelming so day one maybe you just separate things so put all the shirts together all your pants together all the skirts together all your dresses together um day two you would go to each section and then separate it by color so put all the black clothes together all the white clothes all the blues all the pinks like all within the shirt section and then on the third day or the third step would be within each color section. So you've got all of your shirts and then you've got each color. So within each color section, then you would organize it like by sleeve. So all your tank tops would be together, are your black tank tops, your black t-shirts, your black um, long sleeve shirts, your black sweaters, your black jackets, like that. Um, what you'll find when you start to organize your closet in this way is a couple things. You'll first see all of the things that you have. You'll see how much, things you have too much of um, and you'll also see what you're not wearing now six months down the road you might decide that this is not this way of organizing isn't working for your closet and that's fine you can then like I do in my closet I take all my workout jackets I put all those together so they're sort of separate from everything else um, but initially I really suggest you do it this way because it really does force you to see everything um, in a very concise way and not have to look all over your closet for things. So that was Nancy's question. So I think to eliminate that stress, just don't do it that way because I think that sounds horrible to take everything out and put it on your bed. I think just that just sounds horrible. Um, looking through, looking through, I'm looking for the other questions here. Oh gosh, I know it's in here somewhere. Here we go. Um, well, Erin said that she's cleaning out her closet right now. So I'm, thanks Erin. And I keep, my lights keep getting messed up. So if all of a sudden I get really crazy, that's why. And I was out today and I got a little sun, I noticed. It's funny what videos do. Erin um, was cleaning our closet today. Um, good for you, Erin. Kristen says um, she's working on her closet all week. She's trying to do a little bit at a time, which is a really good idea. Um, can't make herself give up all her black clothes or all the white clothes. And um, extreme black and extreme white aren't the best colors for her. So here's what I suggest. Don't give, don't give all those things up. Um, I want you to take everything out of your closet that you, that you don't wear on a daily basis. So for example, the things that I take out of my closet, I would take out of my closet, formal wear, formal dresses, put those someplace different. I still have um, sweatshirts from when I was in college from the different parties. Those are not in my closet. They're all packed up and put away. If you're not ready to get some, something up that's in your closet, even if you know it's not the right color, it's not the right style, but it's something that you love, well then don't give it up. 
that's just one of those guidelines for you to um, determine if you should keep something or if you shouldn't. But if you have an emotional attachment to something and you just really love some of those things, or you think to yourself, I'm not supposed to wear black, but if I take all the black clothes out of my closet, I won't have anything left. Well, then don't take all the black clothes out of your closet until you have an opportunity to maybe switch some of those black things out for gray or for navy or chocolate or whatever dark neutral is perfect for you. Um, Heidi says she needs to do this, but needs a place to donate, donate after she takes everything out so it doesn't all go back in. Oh my gosh, that is so true. So you take everything out of your closet and then you have this huge pile of things, right? Um, what are you going to do with that? Well, there are a couple places that you can donate. Let me give you some ideas. The first idea is to think about your circle of friends or in your family or maybe in your neighborhood. Or do you know of somebody that may be in need? Start there. Um, I don't think anybody would be offended if you said, hey, I just cleaned up my closet and we're about the same size. I've got this whole bag of stuff. Do you want to go through it before I take it to Goodwill? Most women would love that. So that would be my first suggestion. My second suggestion, of course, is, is Goodwill. Um, being that Goodwill has been my biggest corporate client for probably close to 15, maybe more than 15 years now, um, and I fully support all of the things that they're doing, the reason that they are able to provide high school education to adults for free and child care to those adults that are in those schools for free and job training, the reason they're able to do that is because of the um, donations that are made to their stores and then in turn the um, those donations that are sold that's where that money goes it goes to pay for the high school education the job training the child care for these for um for these people that are in need in our community so um i'm going to suggest goodwill and of course my heart is with goodwill michiana which is in northern indiana um that they're they're my client and i love the people there they're amazing the other suggestion I have, um, if you're not in Northern Indiana or not a huge Goodwill fan, which some people aren't, and that's fine, and Goodwills are different in different parts of the state, different parts of the country, um, there's a, every community has a women's shelter or um, like a, a My Sister's Closet here in Bloomington, Indiana is a great organization to donate things to. They're, they're all, every, or every community has an organization like that that you can donate to. If you are having trouble finding where to donate in your community, reach out to me on our Facebook page and I'll do a little research and just quickly give you my opinion on here's some things that I found. You might want to look into them and see, see what, what might um, work for you. Um, another question that I got was from Rachel and this was through a private message, but she gave me permission to share it here. She wants to know about um, bralettes. What's appropriate? Can you, can't you wear them? Here's my tip on bralettes. They're so cute, especially when you wear off the shoulder things to have, you know, the little bralette peeking through, you know, little lace thing here. But the support that a bralette offers really isn't appropriate unless you are like an A or a B cup. Even a B cup would be stretching it in my opinion. So here's what I've done. I use the bralette, but I have an old bra that I cut the straps off of that I just use like as a strapless bra. And I put that strapless bra on first and then the bralette over the top. So then I still have some support and I have um, the shaping that the, the decent bra would, would give you, but you still have the benefit of the cute little, you know, the lace that peeks out. Another idea is um, at Target, they have like backless bras that kind of look like suction cups and they have a little hook in the front. That's also another idea that can give you a little bit of support and a little bit of shaping and um, a little bit of um, coverage through your shirts without sacrificing, you know, the cute lace that you might see, you know, on, on off the shoulder things. So that's my tip with that. And I think that's all the questions for this week. Some exciting things going on next week. Um, on Wednesday, we're going to start our shopping section. And that means that I'm going to be giving, giving you some shopping tips. And I've reached out to several boutiques. Hopefully they can all get back to me and they're putting together some fun sale things. Um, some um hopefully maybe some fashion show kind of things from their sales rooms i'm not sure what they're going to be able to to provide but i have reached out to several and hopefully we hear back from them if you have a favorite boutique in your um in your hometown and you'd love for them to be a part of our shopping section 
please reach out to them and maybe copy me on the message and just tell them that we're going to do this and I can give them some details. All of the local businesses that we can support during this time, the better, right? Um, so I think that's it. Okay. So for this week, if you forgot, this is Kathy Friend. And I also want to remind you of two things. If you don't have the book, please go to my website, kathyfriend.com. Click on the shopping section. It's I believe it's a second product listed called What what to wear, strength and joy through your style. Go ahead and download that book. Um, I would love for you to have this ebook so that you can follow along with us and you have all of all 100 plus pages of the um, advice and the step-by-step -step process that we have what to solve these problems and take away all the frustration that you might have with your style or with your wardrobe. It's all in the book. And if um, the book is on sale for $35, if $35 is outside of your budget right now, reach out to me because I do have some coupon codes that I can give you for that. Um, the second thing I'd love for you to do is if you could go to my YouTube page and just search me on YouTube, Kathy Friend, um, friend just like your best, and find my YouTube page and just give me a, give me a follow and a like there. Um, that would be great too, okay? I think that is it for today. And hopefully tomorrow my face isn't so bright red. I didn't realize I got so much sun when I was up outside this weekend just walking the dog. But look at my nose. I am fried. How exciting. My chest is kind of red too. Yay, sun. Okay. Goodbye, everybody. Have a lovely Sunday evening, beautiful people. I am going to turn this off. And I have to watch 90 Day Fiance because I need to know if David actually found Lana behind the green door. Okay. Good night.